Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. We're playing Gruel today. Made a couple changes to the deck. Uh, I think it was necessary that we put in some winding ways into the deck at this point. So we cut our chain lightnings, threw them into the sideboard, and uh, we cut, let's see, one of our menace slivers and one of our provoke. And the rest we uh, replaced with the winding ways. So we got four winding ways in here now. I think it's going to really help us refill it's something we struggled with with this deck. This is a little bit of an awkward hand, but we'll keep it. We're going to be a little bit on the slow play here. Let's uh, go ahead and just play this out. Pass it back to them. See what we're up against. So yeah, I think it was time for the Winding Way to come in. I know there's a lot of other Gruel deck lists that just come out recently. We kind of talked about them earlier this week as well. Um... And uh, they have a lot of the lead the stampedes winding ways in them, and I was looking at it, and I'm not fa I'm not a fan of the list personally. I I'm not a huge fan of it at all. Sacrifice a creature. Look at the top two card and exile one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it at all. Um, but I don't know why we never put winding way in the deck, and that was something in that new deck list that they had. I was like, yeah, I mean, why shouldn't we have that in there? <laughs> Honestly, you know, it doesn't make sense uh, why we wouldn't. So let's be mana efficient. Just put out a Predatory and pass the turn. Next turn, uh, we can drop our Viverlint and Predatory and uh, Muscle Sliver. See what else they're playing with here. Our Predatory may die. Crypt Rats already. That's lovely. Well, we can Lightning Bolt that. And we kind of have to, so. Let's go ahead and do that. Get that thing out of here. No thank you. Go ahead and put down our other muscle. Just start beefing this opponent out. Swing in. Three damage. That's all good. That's all good. Uh-huh. Tortured Existence. So, discard a creature card. They're going to return Crypt Wraps to their hand. So, we're going to need to draw into some, ro some more removal to deal with the Crypt Wraps. Otherwise, uh, our board is going to go bye bye in like two turns. Unless they're out of creature cards to discard. Looks like they're just going to pass. They're going to take a good chunk of damage here. Haste Creature would be nice. Hmm, don't really want you. Uh, provoke, though. Provoke could be useful. Well, we can play out our hand, so let's do that. Tap out big here. Sacrifice a creature. Don't really want to provoke this guy right now. I don't think we will. Uh, we're So we're down to one Provoke in our deck. I was like, screw it. I only need one in here, you know. Uh, one, uh, one of it in the deck is fine, and that's our one of. <laughs> we'll see if they want to take six. They can always bring this guy back, so if they really needed him. Mm-hmm. Gonna block. Alright. And nice thing is, if Crypt Rats comes down, we definitely can provoke it. So, pseudo-removal with the provoke. It's a decent draw, actually, more I think about it. So he did the sack thing. He's gonna take a look at the top two cards for our library and exile one of them. We'll take a look at what he exiles here. Pretty uh, neat looking artwork. Interesting. Two headed sliver. Okay, that's fine. Could have been worse. Get some of that poisonous going. Alright, let's see what you can do here. 
He's in a rough state, though. Yeah, kill something? Okay, there you go. Okay, so he's going to return that guy to his hand. He dumped the brown. Should gain. Did he gain two life from that? There it goes. All right, so he gains two life. That's fine. Puts him out of range of lethal. It's a bummer. Just need to pop a lord. But we're in fine shape. Get our relics. I think our sideboard is actually broken right now. I think I I don't think I removed anything when I edited the deck, so our sideboard might be scuffed. Yeah, I think it might be scuffed actually. <laughs> I don't know what happens if uh you start a game if you have more than 15 cards in your sideboard. What does that mean? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't take anything out for the... Because uh, I dumped the chain lightnings in the sideboard. I don't know if I took anything out. I can't remember. Oh, yes, I did. I did. I took out mutagenic growth. Uh, mutagenic growth. We don't got them anymore. Oh, that's nice. Well, Sayonara. And we're going to just say no to all of these, because who cares? No. Well, we could make them provoke for one. Just get them away from our... I don't know, in case they have some kind of buff or something. We could just uh, put them in front of something else. Let's put them in front of our striking, just in case. We'll say he has to, stri he has to do the striking, but the game's pretty much over here. Come on. Provoke is so annoying. So we'll say yes to the striking. We'll say no to the rest. He's got to block our striking. Just in case. You never know. If we leave him free to block our lord and he does something, whatever. But uh, the game's pretty much a wrap here, so. We'll move on to game two unless they got something else to deal with stuff. Looks like he does. All right, we'll go another game. We'll go another round. Or is he just going to do the sack thing? I don't know what you're expecting here. I mean, you're pretty much dead, man. You got one more turn to deal with stuff. That's it. But I don't think you can. You really can't do enough here. So I exile the lightning bolt. It's going to take 15, go to 1, take a bunch of poisonous. Like I said, the game's pretty much a wrap. Uh, Crypt Rat is not going to be able to finish them off enough. Yeah, even if he has another land drop... He can only deal two damage to our creatures, so... Yeah, it's hard. That's hard. Grabbing something back with the Tortured. What's he going to try to do, though? He is going for the Grave Scrabbler. Again, excuse me. Grave Scrabbler. Gain a couple life. That's fine. Still got a lot of work cut out for him. Yeah, let's go to game two. Uh, right. Relics, you're coming in. Uh, natural state, you're coming in. Anything else? Electricery might be alright too. Let's, um... Game's not going to go super long. I think we can cut Blade back. Maybe cut, uh... Two-headed? Mm, we'll keep it two-headed, maybe. All right, let's cut our blade back. We'll cut our... Two-headed. And... Man, what else do we need here? I guess we'll cut a mutagenic growth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else we need? Yeah, I don't, I don't. I think that looks pretty good. So here we got a couple seconds. Let's go card view. Uh, so again, we've got the four winding ways. Now we uh, took out the chains that are in the sideboard. We removed a couple mutagenics from the sideboard, so we still have two in the main and removed two from the side. 
And, uh, yeah, cut back on our hunters, just one in the deck now, and we dropped one of our menace, two-headed slivers. So we're down to three of these, one of these, the rest we keep all of them. Looks pretty solid. Let's run this back. Alright, it's a good hand. It's a great hand. I can dig it. Let's get it rolling. Alright, tap land is good. We're about to play ours. Unless we can pull into a red source here. Give me my turn. There we go. Alright, so. Throw that down. Pass to them. I think we will go Heart Sliver and start dropping Lords again. If we need to, we'll drop the Hunter and block something. Fume Spitter. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to have to go Lord first. Because they can just kill any one of our one drops. Just trade. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start with a Lord then. Natural state? Okay, that's good. That's a good drop. We can take care of their tortured existence when it comes down. Pass back to them. Now everything that comes in will be a 2-2. They won't be able to trade with the Fume Spitter very easily. I'll, uh... I would love to grab another land drop. Play a Heart Sliver into a First Striker would be nice. If he drops another fume here, I feel like he'll definitely trade with the muscle. Just keep everything clean on the battlefield, but that's fine with me. Tortured existence, that's gonna go bye bye. And a tranquil thicket. Alright. He can attack in here if he wants. Well, no, I can't. Never mind. I was thinking he could do it after block, but no, nah, not really. All right. Double natural state. So. How do we want to run this? I could put out first strike and then natural state the torture existence. I might actually do that. Not in a super rush with this. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. We'll drop our other lord next turn. Get him back down to 20. He is gonna go ahead and do this. Probably put a counter on our muscle. Sack him, put a counter. No, he's just gonna trip. Okay. Should have sacked him at least put the counter on him. Block sack, put a counter, make him a 1-1. One, one. Why not? That was, uh, that was silly. That was kind of a pony move on their part. Oh, they got another one? Well, guess what? We've got another natural state. They're not going to be too happy with us when we uh, take this thing out. They're just going to pass, uh, which means they'll probably get back Fume Spitter if they want. We get another land, that's nice. Uh, so, we hit for four, and then we could Lightning Bolt him if we really wanted to, but I think I'd rather keep this for Crypt Traps or something like that. Oh, uh, man. He's going to get something with Tortured Existence. Let's go to Attacks first. Put him to 18. Let's go ahead and just keep taking them off of this. If they want to get Fume Spitter back, they can. They're not even gonna. Which tells me they're 
their hand isn't great or they've just got other things in their hand that they would rather play. So I'm gonna cycle. Pass to them. Depending on what they do here, we'll like lightning bolt their face. If they play a decent creature, then we might just lightning bolt that and clear a path for us. And then swing in for like six. Another Fume. I'm really not worried about that. So another Tortured. Oh, wow. Alright, well, we can't do anything about that one. That's funny. Alright, good for them. They got three Tortured Existence in their hands. That's lucky. Uh, I didn't Lightning Bolt them. That's alright. Uh, let's just go ahead and play around more removal, I suppose. We'll do this. We'll swing in. I'm not going to Lightning Bolt the Fume Spitter. It's not worth it. All right, they finally put a counter on one. Good for you. See, now they can start getting these Fume Spitters back. Start launching count, um, counters on our Lord slowly over time. So, Which is another reason why I want to put out a Predatory. Just to give him a little bit extra buff. We'll probably play... Our Heart Sliver next turn to start swinging in for a bunch of damage. We may just end up using this Lightning Bolt as a finishing move, honestly. Three Tortured Existences. That's crazy. Lucky them. Alright, you gonna pull something back with uh, Drop a Brown? Pull back a Fume Spitter? What is it? A Golgari Brown dude or whatever? Alright, Grave Scrabbler. Gonna pull back a Fume Spitter. Makes sense. Yep. Return that. Alright. Now what? Is she just gonna play it out too? Okay. Fair enough. We still got first strike on our side. Shooting this grave uh, scrabbler won't do anything. They can always get it back. So, so they're going to return two fume spitters back to their hand, which means one of our lords is going to die. <clears throat> so let's get in damage while we can here. Fines. All right. Swing in with the team. We'll hit him for nine. Should be able to finish this up nicely. Oh, they're already at three? Oh, man. I thought they had a little bit more life than that. Well, we just win. GG. Good game. Well, that's that. Tortured Existence. Haven't played that one in a minute. Uh, has yet to beat me, I'm pretty sure. Deck's not super great. I'm not a super fan of Tortured Existence, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you're enjoying Gruel and you like the changes that we made. I know maybe it took me a second to bring in those uh, winding ways, but I think it's not necessary at this point. I thought we might be able to do without it since we're such a fast deck, but a lot of popper right now is pretty slow. So we're going long game. We're running out of steam really fast with the Gruel Sliver. So I think it was absolutely necessary to start putting the winding way. I don't want to go more than that. I don't want to go lead the stampede like the other deck list has. Again, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of that deck list. They got Changeling in there, and they've got, like, Metallic Slivers in there, and it's just, like, there's better stuff, I feel like. And play with the Lightning Bolts. I don't know. We still have 27 creatures in the deck. I don't think you need to go more than that. And we've got limited protection, limited removal. we got, like, seven cards that are removal and protection, basically. Um, but past that, I like how the deck's looking. Um, let me know if you guys are still enjoying it. Subscribe for more, and we will see you guys in the next video.